We've got a little 3D geometry here. We've got a tetrahedron. We're given all six of its edge lengths, and we need to find the tetrahedron's volume. Now, hopefully, we can find something interesting in these edge lengths. The first three give us something interesting right away. We've got three, four, five. Triangle ABC is a three, four, five right triangle. Going on to the next two lengths, we've got another three, another four. Triangle ABD is also a three, four, five right triangle. So in our tetrahedron, we have two faces that are congruent, three, four, five right triangles that share hypotenuse. Kind of visualize, you've got a, got a right triangle, another right triangle, and they're sharing this hypotenuse in here, and that's not really helping very much. Now, this is kind of one of these problems where you just kind of, kind of close your eyes and, and visualize, try to see the tetrahedron, these two right triangles sharing a hypotenuse. It's not helping either, is it? Yeah, if I could film the inside of my head, and get lost in that mess. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to draw the picture I'm seeing when I think about this tetrahedron. I'm going to start with this, this shared hypotenuse that's so important. We'll kind of put it kind of dashed back here. We're going to picture it in the back. Then we're going to lay in our two right triangles. We're going to lay in triangle ABC. Go ahead and label. I kind of picture that kind of laying in the, laying in the ground there. And then fold it up is triangle ABD. And we got right triangles. These are right triangles. Again, this is 3D. So you have to kind of imagine these two sitting like that. Our three and our four, three and our four. And of course, our shared hypotenuse is five. Now we got the area of the base right away. So we need the base for the volume of the tetrahedron. All we need to do is find the altitude from D down to the face ABC. Problem is, we have no idea where that thing lands. So how are we going to think about that altitude? Hmm, when you think about things that contain that altitude, well, that altitude is in a plane that runs through C and D that's perpendicular to AB. So you picture this plane coming out of the board and going through C and D. It's perpendicular to AB. And that altitude that we really care about is sitting in that plane somewhere, but we still don't know where it's going to hit down here, A, B, and C. But that plane does, it runs through C, runs through D. It's, it's going to, that plane is also going to run through the altitudes. I'm going to kind of drop these in from C and D down to A, B. And these two are going to land at the same point down here. We've got some nice symmetry going on here, these two congruent triangles. So instead of thinking about the altitude from D down to the face A, B, C, I'm first going to focus on these two altitudes. Because... We understand these altitudes. We know where they go. They go from C down to A, B. And we can find the length of this. We have a right triangle here. The hypotenuse times this altitude. That gives us twice the area of triangle ABC. Well, that's the same as this leg times this leg. 3 times 4 is 12. So the hypotenuse times the altitude has to be 12. Well, we know the hypotenuse is 5, so this altitude has to have length 12 fifths. That looks familiar right there, 12 fifths. And now we're starting to get some inkling of where this weird side length comes from. This altitude also has length 12 fifths, of course. These triangles are congruent. And now when we drop in this last, draw in this last edge, make a bit of a mess, but we start to see the whole picture. This length, this segment right here, has length 12 fifths through 2. So this triangle right here, 12 fifths, 12 fifths, 12 fifths through 2 is a 45, 45, 90 isosceles right triangle. It's right angle sitting right there. And now we know where that elusive altitude is. The altitude from D down to ABC is this altitude right here that we've had sitting in the diagram already. And we know its length. Its length is 12 fifths. So now we can find the volume of the tetrahedron. The area of the base is 6 times 1 third times that elusive altitude times 12 fifths. 6 divided by 3 is 2, times 12 fifths is 24 fifths. And we're done.